blue, black, big deal, right? I'm Andre Minka, the founder of Trademark Factory. And in this video, I'm gonna share my thoughts about yet another trademarking screw up. This time around, it's JetBlue suing Walmart over the Jet Black brand. So let me read you from the article and you can always find the link in the description below. JetBlue sues Walmart for trademark infringement over Jet Black service. JetBlue Airways Corp has sued Walmart Inc. for trademark infringement in an effort to stop the world's largest retailer from using the name Jet Black for its text-based personal shopping service. In a complaint filed on Friday night, JetBlue said Jet Black was a transparent attempt by Walmart to capitalize on the carrier's goodwill and would likely cause significant consumer confusion as the service expands across the United States. JetBlue also said Walmart intended further infringement by using other Jet Plus color names such as Jet Gold and Jet Silver. And moving closer to JetBlue's core business by offering travel services, including dining and entertainment recommendations. The complaint said JetBlue owns 43 federal trademark registrations for JetBlue marks dating as far back as 1999, the year before the Long Island City, New York-based carrier began flying passengers. Now, I want you to pay attention to this because this is yet another, uh, yet another proof that uh, businesses that care about their brands file their trademarks early. So let me read it again. Yeah, so they own 43 trademark registrations for JetBlue marks dating as far back as 1999, the year before they began flying passengers. So first they got their trademark and only a year after they started actually flying passengers. Do you see what they do? Yeah, and that's a pattern you'll see in many, many, many successful companies. So let's keep going. JetBlue is now the sixth largest US airline. Walmart launched Jet Black in New York City in May 2018 as part of the Bentonville, Arkansas-based retailers' effort to compete with such e-commerce services as Amazon's uh, Amazon Prime, especially in urban areas. We respect the intellectual property rights of others, Walmart spokesman Randy Hargrove said. We take this issue seriously, and once we are served with a complaint, we'll respond appropriately with the court. The lawsuit filed in Manhattan Federal Court seeks unspecified compensatory and punitive damages. Jet.com, which Walmart bought in 2016, is also a defendant. Now, JetBlue and its lawyers did not immediately respond on Monday to requests for comment. Jet Black calls itself a personal shopping and concierge service that combines the convenience of e-commerce with the customized attention of a personal assistant with busy parents among its target customers. The uh, business is a startup located within store number eight which is Walmart Silicon Valley's uh, Silicon Valley based incubation arm. So there's really three issues at stake here and they're all pretty interesting. First, uh, is blue and black different enough? If that was the, the case, uh, if all it boiled down to is black different enough from blue? Uh, and the answer is probably no, uh, because it's not about really the color, it's about the idea of the color. Plus, it's also the fact that blue and black share the first two letters. And when courts evaluate uh, possible confusion, the likelihood of confusion, uh, one of the things they look at is obviously similarity of the brands themselves, and it's always, if it's a multi-word phrase, you look at the first word. If it's uh, just a word, you look at the first syllable, the first letter, because this is what our minds notice, the, you know, at the very beginning, right? 
uh, you look at the overall similarity of the brand. And so Jad Blue, Jad Black, they do look somewhat similar. So this would weigh in favor of the airline. Now the second issue here is other services enough related for JetBlue to have a case against Walmart. And that's really where uh, the, the vast majority of dispute is gonna focus on. Uh, JetBlue is gonna say, yep, they're too close, they're encroaching, and there's a huge likelihood of uh, confusion by Walmart's customers who might think that uh, they're shopping uh, through a company that has something to do with the number six airline in the United States. And Walmart is gonna say, what airline? What the hell are you talking about? We're the biggest retailer. People know us anyway, it's just the name of our service. We're not uh, flying anybody anywhere. Uh, we're just providing recommendations. Uh, and there's no likelihood of confusion. It's impossible for any reasonable person to think that by using our concierge service, uh, they are doing any business with uh, the airline or that this business is in any way, shape or form um, authorized or licensed by the, the airline. So this is probably going to be uh, the, the focus of the dispute and I would probably bet on Walmart there. Okay, and the third and the third part of the question is how strong is the JET part of the trademark in JetBlue's trademark or Jet Black's name uh, for that matter? And I would say that the airline may have a problem there. So their trademarks, they got JetBlue as one word without having to disclaim the word Jet from it, even though they're an airline. But uh, Walmart will definitely have an argument to say, look, you are an airline. Airlines use jets. You can't reasonably be able to claim a monopoly over the word jet when you are an airline service. So really what's unique about you is the blue. And we don't use blue, we use black. And we don't use air services. So that would probably be uh, Walmart's argument if this ever uh, goes to see the light of a courtroom. But um, uh, it will be interesting to see what's gonna happen there because obviously both parties have virtually unlimited resources that they can spend on lawyers to litigate this case uh, six ways to Sunday. Uh, and uh, it would be interesting to see uh, what the decision is gonna be or if they come to their senses and come up with some sort of a way for uh, a settlement. It could either be Walmart rebranding, it's, it's a possibility, I don't think the problem is with the money, uh, but I think they may get something out of it. Uh, or it could be uh, Walmart making some sort of representations to JetBlue that they're not gonna go into the uh, travel business. We'll see how this goes. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe now, get notified whenever the next one goes live. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video.